It could ruin a taco spot for me if the salsa is whack. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I had a wise man once tell me, he said, all the taco places are the same, it's the salsa yeah. that matters. Yeah. True, true, true. Yeah. I'm Mango Rayo, taco journalist and native Texan. We're on a Texas-sized road trip with Laredo Taco Company. And today, we're in Space City, H Town. That's right, we in Houston, Texas. We're gonna get into slab car culture, talk with photographer and taco lover, Marco from Houston, and hit the studio with King Benny Productions to create our own taco beats. But first, let's kick it up a notch with some salsa picosa made right here. All right, well, let's dig in. Look at this. What we're gonna do for each level of this conversation, uh, we're gonna take a little sip a little or shot. shot. Okay. Whatever comfortable feeling you're having, just go for it. Okay, start with the salsa verde, and then we'll take that. You wanna take salsa verde shot? Yeah, there you go. Salud. <sighs> oh, yes. Fresh. Fresh. Spicy. Yeah, you could definitely feel it in the back. I think the tom tomatillos bring it down. Yeah. And, you know, you gotta have that salt. It's a good balance. It's a good balance. This is my first talk of the day, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Marco from Houston. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about where does that name come from and, and why did you choose that name? My name is Marco Antonio Torres. I was born in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, which is right across the border from Brownsville, Texas. I've been in Houston since I was a baby. I've traveled across the country and across the world and I always tell people I'm Marco from Houston and it just kind of stuck. I shoot a lot of rap artists, I shoot a lot of cumbia artists, Tejano artists. I love the stage, I love the music, I love capturing that emotion that people give. If there's a tacos there and if there's music there, you'll find me there. Who makes up Houston and what's the vibe here? So Houston is the most diverse city in the country. When you're rolling on the street, you can hear all kinds of music, see all kinds of art. We're from all over and we love sharing. Yeah, yeah. and everybody reps their neighborhoods here. That's true. This is who we are and this is what we represent. Houston Graffiti Wall has always been a place where artists come and express their culture, the colors of Houston. So it's just a cool place that people come and take photos and kind of bring their families out. And whether you're on your way to, to a ball game or you're on your way to dinner, a lot of people just like to stop here and take some Instagram photos. So you have Selena here, which, you know, I love Selena. I grew up with the Hano music. But then on the other side, you have Houston rap icons, you know, Pimp C, DJ Screw, Paul Wall, Slim Thug. I mean, you can almost hear the music. You see other murals around here, but these are a bit untouched. So it yeah. shows that respect. There's a lot of respect here. It really shows how the artists are evolving from like traditional graffiti to a little bit more modern. So you can come here and kind of see what we're all about here in Houston. It's the music, it's the art right. that really kind of brings people together. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. One, two. Three. Nice. Thank you. I like your hat, obviously, and the colors. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to go with the red. Okay, let's do it. Orale. Mm. Actually, the green one was, was uh, more of a kick for me. Yeah, I think more, more serrano or jalapeno, but you're a brave man, Mando. You've always had been. I have a um, stomach of steel, as they say. Houston is one of my favorite cities. It feels like home. Yeah. Why do you think that is? It's just the way we were raised. You know, we're raised around a lot of friends and cousins and neighbors who shared, you know, recipes and shared food and shared music and shared art. You can go from one neighborhood to another neighborhood and have completely different experience, and it's still an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. As long as you're open to explore the city, then the city's going to open to you. Whether you live in the East End, the Fifth Ward, or the North Side of Houston, you know about the tacos at Laredo Taco Company. Houston is the most diverse city in America, and this is reflected through the music, art, tacos, and the many cultures. 
from cumbias to car culture, low riders to slabs, all made right here. My cousins and uncles come swinging down the street when I was a little boy, seven, eight years old. And I'm like, man, one day that's gonna be me, you know what I'm saying? The car I have right now is, is, is one of my dream cars, you know what I mean? My uncle had one, and I always said I was gonna get me one, and now I got me one, you know? And I've been building it for two years. It's just all about details and setting yourself apart from the next car that's like yours. I wanna know more about slab culture. So what does that mean for you? People got wheels on cars, that's not a slab, you know what I mean? That's just a car with some wheels on it. You can't have a slab without elbows. And you can't have a slab without candy paint pop trunks, neons, the interior's gotta be done. That's the whole nine yards. What are the elbows? Man, the elbows, you gotta be poking nowadays. So is it like the wider the better? Whoever poking the farthest. But what makes the color just pop? It gotta be a three-stage paint, you know what I mean? Huh. And you can't go to anybody and get painted, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go to Julio, Raul. You gotta go to the Mexicans is what you're saying. For sure, for <laughs> sure, for sure. You gotta go to them boys. They all started off with lowriders. What do you want people to walk away when they look at your car and slap culture and here in Houston? Mainly we just want people to respect it. Respect the bill, respect the hard work that we put into it. Man, it's like keeping the culture going. And I kept it going for my neighborhood. And right now I'm raising my son to keep the culture going. You nice. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next up is Chile de Arbol. All right, this, this is more your avenue. This is mine. more my avenue, ain't no joke. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> oh, that is Chile de Arbol. It is those dried peppers that really get to you right there on the top. Yeah. <laughs> It's hot. It's good, but it's hot. It's spicy. It's spicy. These aren't gringo chilies. These are not gringo chilies. These are Mexicano chilies. Yeah, that's it. It's chile de árbol that comes through, you know, and I make this at home all the time. Although I'm not usually taking the salsa shots all the time, but I do like it. Houston's known for many things. Yeah. Slab City. Uh, Space City. Space City. Bayou City. Bayou City. Yeah. H-Town. Yeah. When I grew up, it was all about Tejano. Tejano yeah. music. Emilio, Selena, Ramarera, all these people who... I grew up listening to. When you hear a cumbia, you're just like, oh yeah, you know, it's a sound that You know, when I'm taking photos and I'm dancing too, so yeah. <laughs> I try to be professional as possible, but that, that beat gets to you. There you go. You, need. Hey, you don't know what song it is, but you know it's a cumbia. You know it's yeah, a cumbia. Yeah, no matter what. So you're, you're waiting for the keyboard or the bass to hit, you're like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's tight, man. It sounds really good. You shine on the on the on the bell. So if we win a Grammy, then you're gonna be right there with you with your, <laughs> with your little with your little bell. When I hear a cumbia beat, man, the sound just boom, it's in you, right? So yeah. what does a cumbia beat mean to Houston? Like the cumbia music. Dude, I think it just means food, bro. <laughs> once they get done dancing, bro, everybody's hungry. So they, right, gotta go, right, they go straight yeah. to the tacos. Yeah. <laughs> just like what goes into making tacos, all the like the ingredients. So what goes into kind of mixing it all in? Just like your taco, you have to have your tortilla, right? Arena, maiz. So I guess the tortilla would be basically the guira or the cabasa doing. That's right. So the bass guitar is sort of like the beans, you know, it's like a strong foundation with protein. Yeah. Uh, like a meal is going to sustain you for the day, a ba good bass line is going to sustain yep. the song, the song. throughout. Then you got the accordion, that's yeah. the salsa at the end, man. That's oh, the... that's a... 
That's it's what just, makes it, it spicy. Just holds, it's just everything, dude. Yeah, but you nice. do have to get the extra tortilla so you can get all the stuff that comes out. I know. Like yeah, a second yeah, one, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, hashtag double corn? Double, 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 double corn. corn. That's there you right. Go. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Being at any party, quinceañeras, yeah, weddings, quinceañeras. it's oh, yeah. always going to be like everybody chows down, keeps dancing, drinks some more, and then they chow down yeah, again. Chow down yeah, chow down again. Yeah. You're a little kid sleeping on the chairs and the music's blasting yeah, and you get used yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. The carne asada, the neighbors are partying. If yeah. you're a Latino, I think it just is, like you said, embedded right, in you. It just right. follows you around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like a train in the background. Yeah, it's like a train yeah. in the background. Yeah. It kind of rocks you to sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a basic, simple beat. It just never gets old. Like tacos, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the cool thing about being here in Houston whether we're eating tacos and uh, or sharing community or actually creating the music, right? It's all made right here. It's all made right here. Right? There you go. Solo, 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 solo. solo. Houston, Texas, you do it for the culture and you come through with your pride, diversity, art, and music. Recording my own taco beats with the help of King Benny Productions brought out the cumbia vibras and movidas in me. A comer! Talking with Marco Torres revealed to me how Houstonians are deeply connected to their neighborhoods, their identity, and the city they rap. Whether you like your music banging or your walls with color, Best bet is to start with the Salsas Picosas at Laredo Taco Company, made right here.